Hi, welcome to the video. In this one, it's the first episode full playthrough of Sally Face. This is one of the most requested games that I get in comments, along with Omori and Night in the Woods, and I'm hoping to get through all of those. So if you enjoy this, then please do hit like and subscribe to come on those adventures with me. Please make sure you hit that like button and check below the video for my Instagram, my TikTok, and my bedtime story podcast. I think you're going to need a nice bedtime story after this one. All right, enjoy. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Oh damn. Am I in control? Oh, I am, okay. Um, the phone is ringing. Oh no, the eyeball poking out only on one side. I look very creepy. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's gonna be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. I feel like, um... Like I'm in Face Off, or like I'm the Joker in the old Batman movie or something? Push. Oh, can I? Looks like something's there, but it's too dark to see. What's there? Let's put the light on, I guess. Oh, oof, that feels bright after being in the dark. Sat in the dark playing this at the moment. Oh, a key. You. Okay. It's nice art, isn't it? Man, I feel like if I could actually draw, I probably would have made a game like this, like some sort of animated game, if I was even remotely any kind of artist. But I am not. Wait, P O N M N M M N M P. Different rooms. D C E A. What's the number on the key? Oh, I've used the key. So D takes us back to here, and then O. <gasps> Maybe I'm spelling something. D O E Do Doff. Maybe because the F is like hanging off. Dog. Because there was a picture of a dog on the wall. Maybe that's what it means. Oh, I feel like I'm in a kid's book. This looks so cool. Is this a funeral? That's my dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid, you tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Wait, it says number six on the tree. What does that mean? Diane Fisher, mother and wife. Is this my mum? Oh wait, passcodes. Battery's not included. How many is it? Oh, it's a lot. Maybe it's the... Dates that are up there. Oh! Or not. I'm trying to solve puzzles that don't exist. You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. I'm a little boy. I thought I was called Sally. This is your fault. Uh, I is Sally. Sally is me. Mum? Are 
you. Oh, okay. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. The Addison Apartments. Episode 1, Strange Neighbours. One of my great fears in life is to have terrible neighbours, honestly. Is there anything worse? Or noisy neighbours? I'm very sensitive to the old noise, okay? I don't need uh, people being noisy up there. This will be our new beginning. That looks weird and old. And like the blue hair, does it run in the family or do we die it? I don't understand. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Maybe I should sound like this. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? New Jersey dad. Sal's room. I guess said go outside make some friends. Number 402, number 4 on the elevator. Hello. Um, what happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, you wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid, grumbly grumble. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother, what does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, you better show me some respect. Oh, okay, so there's language in this? Should I have hit a beep? I maybe should have hit a beep. Down in the elevator. Let me know in a comment if I should beep stuff, I guess. I don't know. This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. 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 I'm the missing member of Slipknot. Sorry, I, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Sir, are you okay? <laughs> you shouldn't have come here. Sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Was that a knock at the door? Oh, he disappeared. Is there going to be jumps in this? I have a can of Fanta in front of me. I don't really want to send it flying. <laughs> oh, there's hands on the bathroom door. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Okay. Let's get out of here. 504, that is. Exploring. Number... Let's go... Oh, I need a key card for the basement. Let's go to one and work our way back up. Probably the easiest way. No one's home.
Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Uh, stupid good for nothing kids, grumble, grumble. <laughs> I only have one woman voice, okay? Leave me alone. Hello, darling, it's me. <laughs> Oh dear, what a frightful... Oh, pardon me, let's start over. Hey, there was a new one. Hello, young sir. A new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of your service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no. I'm afraid I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Farewell, friend. Oh. What's going on? Eh, hello, young man. Have you just moved in today, correct? Yes. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out, that's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about it. So long. I mean, so long. That was me, not you. Okay. Even when you know you've done nothing wrong, talking to the police is always so scary. I can remember, like, back when I lived at the family house, like, forever, it's like, going back more than ten years ago. And <clears throat> the police, like, knocked on the door and they were like, um, we just wanted to ask some questions because there was, like, a murder at the end of the street. Did you hear anything last night? Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, a murder? N uh, no, uh, I did not hear it. Like, I suddenly started talking like that and I was like, I look like I did it. You start acting all guilty, even though you're not. You know what I mean? You're like, what? Hmm? What? No, I wasn't doing anything. And it's like, yeah, we no, we just wanted to see if you heard nothing. Who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell's your fate with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens. A new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself, I get it. Look at your toes poking out of your socks, though. You have a lovely collection of, um... Toys. There. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's, uh... Nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family. If you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. You got it? Uh, yes, sir. That's not a problem. I, I, I won't be giving you any trouble. Good to hear. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that voice is for you, Charlie, but it just kind of came out. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I can ever need. It's nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. I know. You're speechless. You've never seen such an awesome connection. Yeah. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. I'll be right back. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Um... Did I? Oh, God. My God, child. Have you...
you never seen? My Glitter Pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Yeah. I guess I missed that one. We'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. It's in the cupboard. What else do you have in here? Anything? Nothing, huh? Guess I'll come back. Guess I'm just... Alright, so that's Charlie's place. Must be nice to live in an apartment with a lift. I lived in a block of flats when I was a kid, but there was only stairs. Hey. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, just me and my dad. My name's Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place keep things up and running. If you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're welcome. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? You know anything what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Anything to do for fun? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. Go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name's Larry. He'll be in the basement. You'll need a key card. Take this one. Nice. See ya. Oh, okay, that's all there is here, but we got the key card so we can go down to the basement. Let's meet Larry. Eh, Larry. Basements are always scary. Vending machine, lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry, though. A slice of pizza is left out. Nice pictures. Oh! What the hell was that? Um. Ooh! 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 Okay. Don't like that. What's going on? Anything? Keep out. Larry's room. Lisa's room. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry? Your mum said I should come say hi. I, I just moved into 402. Hey, come in. Door's open. What do you look like, Larry? <laughs> you suit the voice. I I'm gonna go with it. Whoa, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh, I have no face. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So, glad you like it. Do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Alright, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mum. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad. From New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends. Once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange, I like you. We're gonna get along great. That's what your mum said. Mother knows best. What happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. 
What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. Who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they have any prints or anything. What happened? I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. I peeking through the crack in bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mum, but I trust you. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. Harumph. Look at this wall covered in artwork and stuff. Do you have anything on your wall? What artwork do you have on your wall, guys? Like, do you have posters? I remember one thing I always liked, right? I had all these old band t-shirts when I was a teenager that didn't fit anymore and I didn't want to wear them anymore. And I hung them around my room when I was like 17, 18. I put pins in them, like a pin in each arm and hung them around the room um, from like the top bit before the ceiling. And it looked pretty dope. At the moment, I have an Eternal Sunshine poster, I have a Jaws poster, and then I have like a set of four posters which are in the same sort of retro style behind me, and it's like X-Files, Zelda, uh, Joker, and what's the other one? It's gonna bug me, I have to look. Pulse. Scott Pilgrim. Just some sort of films, but they were just the ones that were in this nice sort of retro style that I like, so I went with those. I used to have a Blade Runner poster, but I uh, kept bumping my chair into it and I ripped it. Oops. Why'd you live in the basement? My mum says it's because we got to guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah. It's my own little bat cave. I'm a lot like Bruce Wayne, really. Are you? Yeah, look at me. Dead handsome. Maybe more like the penguin. What did you say to me? I said, uh, I like penguins. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I have my own clothing line. <laughs> it's actually for a metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. That's got to change. Check this out. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. Let's have a listen. I actually love metal music. Hmm. guy in 103. That's yeah, Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. He always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude. Just real strange. If you say Addison tea, please and thank you, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay. Head banging together. Never one for headbanging though. Give you a headache. What's this? I mean, what's this? Uh, it's a police scanner. How the hell did you get this? That's a story for another day. But you just gave me a great idea. 
If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak in. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective. Something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I've got to make the call down here and... I'm just messing. I'm totally up for it. I want to peek in there. Sweet. What's the plan? I'll call in a... Oh, I'll call in a bank robbery. Don't take my lines. I'm sorry, Monty. I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation. That should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies. I can give you a heads up once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it more believable. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Press that shift button to call me. I guess we'll finally get a look at what's going on in the room. But also maybe we should get some tea from Mr. Addison. What else was in here? In the basement, lost and found, bright lights. Gee, I'm sure I'm looking forward to using this. Not. Not. What floor were they on? I can't remember. Oh, this was the abandoned floor, okay. janitor one. Maybe they're on the ground floor then. Maybe, I think it was a one actually. There it is. Hello young sir. Addison tea please and thank you. Coming right up. There you are sir. Enjoy. Tea. Can I drink it? Has a funny smell. Definitely not drinking this stuff. Okay. I will try and get into the room. Oh my god. You know what's super freaky? Is I was sitting here and I was thinking, my, something with my eyes, like the lights seem to be changing whilst I'm playing this creepy game. I was trying not to think about too much. I've got one of these lights that you can set it to different colours, like the bulb that's in the ceiling, right? And it has all these settings on it. And I think instead of, I usually set it to like a dim blue or a green whilst I'm recording or something, right? Rather than sitting here with bright lights on. And I think I accidentally hit the button that was just doing slow colour changes. And it's been really subtle this whole time, but it's been slowly freaking me out. Okay. Walkie talkie. Shift call. Let's do it. You ready? Gotta get up to my room. Oh, okay. Oh, I have a cat. Gizmo. I had a cat called Gizmo once. So you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo? Must be nice. Bless. No, baby. Oh, my gear boy. Can I play a game? Oh, hit the wrong button. I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. Right, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs. I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. Go, go, go. What am I going to find, though? Oh, I feel a bit creepy. I felt a little chill thinking about what could be in here. God, I would never do this. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important. Just looks like junk. Alright, keep looking. This is pretty twisted. 
tell me about it. Oh, wait. The ponies. There's these little figures. It looks like one's missing. I see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to basement. Oh. That was a lot less creepy than I thought it was going to be. Sanderson, eh, Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Was I imagining, or did I just see some of the artwork was like the funeral scene on the wall there? Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it the day that I was fixing a toilet. Anyways, I bet you and Charlie could, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her off in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Something unsettling about him. This is crazy. This guy needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you got to get into Charlie's room. See if you can find that toy. Why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll do it. I won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggy. Slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Nah, I just watch too much TV. Yeah, look, it's the scenes from the funeral and the dog and stuff. Oh, that's weird. I like your paintings. Thanks, it's my passion. That's a little strange. But go back to that apartment. Into Charlie's place. I wonder if it's one of those ones then. I can't even remember what voice I did. I know. They're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. Wait, what was the plan? Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Oh, gross. The way you suck that. Sir, please. Ah, oh, so tasty and relaxing. Why do I feel like he's going to wake up when I do this? This seems like a terrible idea. Oh, I must have dozed off for a second. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping. I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good. Say, so if you get any more Addison tea, I'd love some more. Mr. Addison cut me off for the day. So he woke up. I have to get him more tea. Let's see. Addison tea's on the first floor. Tea. But I'm not cut off. I wonder if I can get more than one. Happy to refill your cup. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's something else I'm supposed to put in the drink. Let's try it one more time and just see. I'm thinking I have to find something to put in the drink. Well, let's do this one more time first. I got more tea. Wonderful. Slap, slap, slap. So relaxing. Maybe I should... Master dozed off. Oh, okay. So it's the same... Hmm. So there's got to be something I have missed. Come downstairs. Okay. Okay. 
to the basement. See our friend Larry. Also, what happened to that bloody ghost over here? Oh, I don't like it. Is this place haunted? What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know. I gave him some tea. Great idea. I bet that put him right to sleep. It did, but only for a minute. If only we could make it stronger somehow. Hmm. Stronger somehow. Why did you call me down here just for that? Biohazard stuff. There's nothing over here. Hmm. I guess. Get the tea again. And then we'll see. Tea, tea, tea. Give me the tea. Thanks. So I just got to search the place again. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record, even if we do have the same voice. Who's got something for my tea? You again! Why do your kids insist on making my life miserable? Sorry. Okay, back to two. Knocking on all the doors, just being annoying. Imagine just a kid knocking on your door and being like, oh, I just wanted to be friends and introduce myself. You'd be like, what? Oh, that's his place, okay. That's the end of level two. Okay. Up to three. Which I think is the cleaning, right? Yeah. Hey, Lisa. Do you need any help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? Well... I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind wanders. That's cool. I could tell you're a creative type, but my Larry, glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. What do you worry about? I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. Let's keep things positive. Did Larry kill her? Is he the killer, Lisa? I can't ask her any more questions. Hmm. <gasps> Big boy. You must be the big boy on three. <laughs> oh! Uh, hey! I'm Sal. I just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug! Nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. How did you get your nickname? What nickname? Never mind. Do you think this building is haunted? Why? Did you see something too? I think so. Knew it. I knew it. I'm not crazy. So you've seen that old man? Old man? I think it's just a crazy homeless dude that sleeps on five sometimes. I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazier stuff than that old bum. Things moving by their own. Weird noises and stuff. I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. I believe you. Thanks, Sally Face. I did see a girl once. A girl? I thought it was homeless guy's daughter, but she disappeared. That's why I used my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's scary. 
Wait, you have a key to 504? Yep, I found it on ground. Let's go check it out. No way, I'm not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check? I can't just give you a key. But maybe you can trade me something for it. Let me borrow that key. I can give you... <gasps> My gear boy. Nah, I got one. I could take candy or money for snack machine. Hmm. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I gotta go down and get some snacks. I don't know if I have any money, but maybe I can just stick my hand up there. You're not hungry, but... Let's see if Larry's got some money. Or maybe in their kitchen? In the fridge? No. It's very scary when I go over to that corner. It freaks me out, man. Maybe in my house. Maybe I gotta find my pocket money first. Floor do I live on? Four. Himself in booze, not totally giving up on life on me. A quarter score. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we're getting somewhere. Back down to the basement. Get a snack. Oh, or I guess just give him the quarter. Okay, that works also. What floor were you on? Three. Drinking a can of Fanta Orange is so good. Heck yes, here, take it. Nice. Let's do the tea first. Two oh four. Got another cup. What? As much as I love that stuff, I don't think I can drink another drop today, as surprising as that sounds. But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe. I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least twenty cups today. You positive? It's a new recipe. I already had three cups. I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Disgusting. This is better than the original. I don't know how... Yoink. Got the toy. Q. 
keep out. I got it. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is to give it to that detective. It'll be all over. Hmm. I mean, it does have blood on it. Let's go check the uh, bathroom first, though. Pick your socks up off the floor, Larry. Bloody hell. Saved. Is this auto save? I guess. Oh, this is creepy up here. The music is creepy. Okay, here we go. Is anyone in here? It's okay. I, I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. You are? Yeah, sure. My name's Sally Face. Your name is Fanny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face. No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. Whoever said that only girls can have pigtails in their hair? I like pigs too. I never thought of that. You're funny. Why were you crying before? Everyone always runs away from me when I try and talk to them. I get so lonely up here all alone. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. Must be hard being by yourself. I'm not really all alone. There are. Little girl? Are you still here? doing up here? Asking myself that same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you were gone for so long. I needed to check on you. You know, make sure the ghosts didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good. Good. I was thinking maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more into it. Okay, I'll hold on to it, but you can borrow it. Okay. I don't like this room. Alright, so I go talk to the detective then. Is this where it's going to end? Is this like the first thing? What floor was he on? One? The memory. Here's the evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbours, you know? Trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie. He was showing me his toys. I noticed it had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well. A little detective in training, eh? Sorry, big yawn. Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time, come to us. We did. So hey, that moves him out the way and then I can go here. Welcome home. Went to arrest him, I guess. Oh no, he's just out here. Oh, arrested. I'm innocent, I swear. 
I thought you were my friend. I can't remember what my voice is. Sorry. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. I don't think it was him. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Gross. What the flippin' hell? Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. Must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess. All these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? Knew it. I'm not convinced it wasn't him. So you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend. All through high school. And after high school. We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. Just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. Thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand? Unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Keep that thought for your next session. You're a terrible therapist. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. I hope you'll let me help you. My trial? I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. Did I go away for the murder? I mean, Larry totally did it right and planted all that stuff. Because he was like telling us what to do. Body Larry. Sal. Sally, where are you? Who is this? Could be the little ghost. New art style. It's Mama. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, ma'am. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait till your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. I really want to see it. Please. Please, can I go pet the doggy? Alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yeah. I'll wait by the trees. What trees are we waiting by? Oh. What was that? Um. Wait. Did I have a face? Didn't even think about it. But now I have no face. Oh man, did like a dog chew my face off? Is that what happened to my face, dude?
Wait, she's alive. This is a flashback. Oh, thank you so much for coming to help with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken himself care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. The street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is over there. Larry? What? What? Uh, huh? I'm Larry. Okay, I just got eaten by a toilet. Hmm. around more first. these switches. Oh, like that seemed to be the wrong one first, I would assume. So maybe it's this one. Take a shower or a bath. Uh that in there. I thought it was going to be Larry. 
if you want to see me play the next episode, then let me know in a comment and by hitting that like button. And if you want to go on another adventure, there are some videos on the screen right now. Have a beautiful day.